they they stepped out for a second. I want to get this uh, quick interview here with uh, what is this? There we are. We've got wow. They're they know how to do they had to know how to do multiple Skype. Holy crap! Well, we this do is a it, hell right? of a deal. That's a hell of a deal, my friends. Uh, we, we we are gonna try to pull them up on the old Skype Rooney so we can download our app or jiggyjagger.com. And uh lot lots of cool stuff coming up as soon as we're done with our current guest here, the our musician friends. We are going to uh talk to our paranormal friends and oh my do I have photos? Uh, we're talking ghosts. We're talking uh, dead people. Uh, uh, we're, we're talking about uh, 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 Oh, so much fun. And as I've said many times before, it's fun, fun, fun till Daddy took the tea girl away. I still don't understand why my dad is taking away transsexual women from me, but uh, he is. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he wants to date him. I don't know. Um, we've got, we've got, there we are. We're getting things adjusted. You can see the model on Skype. Uh, the former star, I thought, but. Uh, well, we'll, uh, well, we'll bring our guys in here on Skype. I want you guys to go ahead and introduce yourselves. Then we'll talk a little bit about why you're here and talk a little bit about the band. How are you guys, by the way? Doing good. I'm Julian. Good. I'm Brandon. And I'm Zach. Drummer. And you guys are? Yeah, I'm Brandon Singh. Awesome. Hey. Thank you both, please. We are the band brand of Jules from New York City. You know what's funny is Zach acts like a young Lars from uh, Metallica. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever done that, but you look like a young you're Lars. Like you're number one. I've gotten <laughs> Billy Joe Armstrong once many moons ago. But. <laughs> well, it all works. And, yeah. I'll tell you, and, I, and I'll tell you, your, your, your cohorts there with the long hair, they look like they're in a metal band. They <laughs> they got long hair. They're ready to go. Now, um, a little bit about the band. How did you guys get this as a group? Well, uh, me and Brandon are brothers, so <clears throat> we started the band about four years ago. Um, at our at our house, and since then, and then our recent member Zach yeah. joined up with us about six months ago. That's pretty cool, and uh, you know what's funny, uh, and 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 I and I love this about Hello? bands who do yeah. Skype. Yeah, I still got you. I still see you. We still got you, my friend. Uh, what I love about what I love about bands that do Skype is uh, they usually have pretty cool backgrounds, and uh, you guys have some cool backgrounds today. I noticed that Zach has moved the moved the camera a couple times to give us a shot of ever, all the. Uh, the, the background of where he's at, uh, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> you, you, you've got quite the setup there, my man. Uh, now, yeah, 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 <laughs> the living room. If you saw my living room, forget about it. The whole wall is just covered. Posters. I spent like two days strategically plotting spaces for my posters and crap. That was three years ago. But anyway. <laughs> you you, you know, oh, you, you sound like uh, when I was in Salina, Kansas, and we we we, we started the uh, Sunday radio show, and we started bringing guests in. I had to have things on the walls, so I put up all of our crap. I put our T-shirts up that we've gotten from band. Put up old posters. We, we've got all sorts of things. Uh, so yeah, it, it's it, it's it's kind of a circus. Uh, there there is a bar uh, here in Kansas. That is probably 30 miles down the road from where I'm currently at. They have posters and things all over the walls. And the first time I walked in there, I'm like, this looks like my studio. This looks like my living room. Why did I drive 30 minutes to go to my living room? Uh, so that's kind of the, <laughs> what's going on here? So, uh, so with the band, um, you guys have been, uh, have, have been 
putting things together and getting things going. If people want to listen to your music or find you guys on social media, how do they find you exactly? They can hit us up on uh, Facebook, um, and hear our music and go to Reverb Nation. Or Everything Sound. here. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. yeah, that's just to hear us, but we're pretty much on all major media. Twitter. Twitter. Brand of Jewels with us today here on our broadcast. Coast to Coast to Border to Border on iHeartRadio, TuneIn, iTunes, Radio Loyalty. And, of course, the brand new Jiggy Jaguar app available in the App Store. And, by the way, our uh, conspiracy folks, uh, I don't think are going to make it today. So we have uh, we have Cavron, not to be confused with Chevron. And then we have... <laughs> and then we have... Then we have our uh, our ghost hunters with us today, paranormal experts, and then we have Brand of Jewels on uh, on the old Skype Rooney, and uh, then we are wait we were waiting on Skylo to make an appearance, but Skylo is probably out spreading the message as as he said many times before, uh, and Blade will not join us today, but I have a special commentary about Blade in a little bit. I'll do that. Uh, <laughs> Because I gotta, I gotta, I gotta cause some more problems in the indie wrestling community. But uh, brand of jewels, you guys uh, have been out doing the damn thing and making things happen. Uh, what's the latest album, and why should people go pick it up? Yeah, we're gonna be having our upcoming album coming out in March of 2017, called Forward. Yes. Yeah, our debut album. Yeah. Uh, March 2017. Awesome. Awesome. So, uh, with uh, with all the work and stuff you guys have put in on this, uh, tell us a little bit about the writing process and everything. Uh, well, uh, well, the writing process, um, even though the band is a heavier rock and roll band, yeah, uh, it always comes back to the basics of just an acoustic and vocal melody. So that's cool. The writing process, yeah, the writing process is usually you know, find a cool riff, find a cool melody, <laughs> feel like enough, bring it to the guys, and we just kind of build on it from there. Just kind of um, put it, just kind of put it together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The bare damn, bones of it all, you know. That's pretty damn cool. Now, uh, with with the band and everything you guys have got going, uh, what's what's been? Uh, excuse me. What what's what's been some? Uh, you know, some trials and tribulations you guys have gone through. Some difficulties <laughs> of being musicians. <laughs> well, I think, I think the biggest one, I think we are definitely speaking for everybody here. Um, the, I, ever since we started this band, there's always been some sort of bumps in the road. Um, but we had just We're had in. our our most tragic, I guess you could say, um, back in August of this year. We were on tour. Um, with the band Wayland, and um, by the way, that's our cool. That's really former cool. Former guitar player fell asleep at the wheel and Holy crashed. Holy crap! The and we were over a couple of times, and yeah, so that was definitely a uh, big bump in the road. Big, us. big difficulty. Do you guys, is it, we, we've got our uh, we got our paranormal people in the studio you guys have never fallen asleep at the wheel and crashed the uh crashed the the vehicle you just have been you just been getting scared by the ghosts of old indie musicians and and, and old indie wrestlers well sometimes when julie drives you feel like you're about to crash <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> see these these guys are wrecking on the wrecking on the side of the highway after playing a playing a sold out gig somewhere yeah but i had to drive my car because it's got too much power there you go See, see that—that's the thing. Uh, speaking of, we've got uh, random jewels with us today here in our broadcast. They are uh, fantastic, and uh, they join us on the old Skype Rooney today. And uh, but before we let you guys go, uh, how do we find you guys online and pick up the music and get involved with you guys? Yeah, the best way to get involved with us is through Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, you can go on Reverb Nation to hear us, but definitely to be involved with us, Facebook is our uh, primary definitely uh, social media site that we promote a lot on. People can message us there. Message us. Yeah. That's awesome. And our individuals, 
you know, Instagrams as well, you know, we tend to do a lot there too. You know, as much as we try and push through our band page, we also try to push even harder through our own pages too. You know, awesome. being an up and coming band. It's just always good to try and utilize your own. Yeah, speaking about pushing. Yes. Yeah, speaking about pushing too, we're also pushing our uh, big shit on Fuck Cherry at Starland Ballroom. Yeah, it's the. In New Jersey. Yeah, that show's going to be huge for us. It's uh, the 10-year anniversary of Buck Cherry's album, 15, and it's the last night they're playing it in its entirety, I think, for good. Wow. And it's also their last show of the year, and we're one of three bands on that bill, including Buck Cherry, so that's pretty freaking special. That's pretty cool. So you, so you guys have never played for Buck Cherry before? No. Let me tell you something. I used to bounce. No, it's... I used to I used to bounce I used to bounce for Buck Cherry and you guys are in for one hell of a show. <laughs> yeah. I've seen them quite a few times and that's for sure one I mean I've been on that side of the coin but to be on the stage side of the coin you know I can't wait to see that shit personally. <laughs> you guys are gonna have a blast. I guarantee that. It's gonna be a good time. Very very good time. <laughs> Thursday's a rowdy bunch, and then it's the busiest <laughs> bar night of the year. One of being Thanksgiving Eve. <laughs> oh, fantastic! In New Jersey at Starland Ballroom. That's a recipe for absolute rock and roll disaster. With well, that, like, uh, well, 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 uh, as 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 uh, as my grandmother used to say, take lots of pictures. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> my jelly jaws are rattling. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> Random Jules with us today broadcast and uh, coast to coast, border to border on TuneIn, iTunes, or loyalty. And I might have to explain to you the jelly jars reference. There, there is uh, a radio show host out in Los Angeles by the name of Tom Likas, and what he used to do is he would always, what whenever they would have an earthquake. Los Angeles, uh, all these radio stations, these AM stations, which are pretty much just old people listen to the AM stations anymore. Uh, although I might be considered an old person because I know I listen to too. But uh, <laughs> they uh, they would call up when these when these radio stations would do live coverage, and they would always be like, "Oh, you know what's going on?" It would always be old women that would call up to go, "Oh, my jaws are rattling." They never any real news or anything it was always just and he was always like well it, when when they have an earthquake in la turn on am talk radio and see how many old women call it and talk about their jail. um another another one is uh when they call up and say they have ants in their house and trying to get rid of the ants and they usually call and talk about things like if like if they're talking about the earthquake, they're like, "Well, ma'am, did you feel the earthquake?" Yeah, I've got these ants, I'm trying to get rid of these ants, and they and they get them off on some <coughs> rabbit trail <laughs> instead of the actual actual news coverage. So I wanted to educate Brandon Jules there on the whole jelly jars thing, but uh, before That's, uh, <laughs> I've learned a lot today. Yeah, there you go. Well, I hey. accomplished my day off of work. <laughs> Now, now you guys are are, are live uh, with Buck Cherry the night before Thanksgiving. Uh, that's going to be a hell of a deal. Um, yeah. Before we let you guys go, if people want to get a sample of your music, get a hold of you guys online. How do they do that exactly? Hmm. Well, we have a well, we have Reverb Nation where you can listen to some of our music as okay. well with SoundCloud as well. SoundCloud's a good and, one. Sure. Yeah, awesome. SoundCloud's a good one. Um, so if you go on Big Cartel, we have tickets, and for anyone who buys tickets, we have a digital copy of the album before we, we release it in March of 2017. Awesome. Well, when yeah, that we album do. comes out, I want to have you back on, and we'll play uh, five or six tracks, get some, uh, do like a little uh, VH1 storytellers with you guys, Except we won't be using the name storytellers, and it won't be VH1. But it'll be kind of That's the same fun. thing, but not really. <laughs> Thank you, James, for having us. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I am. I am excited for your guys' success. I've been uh, checking you guys out all week, and uh, it is it is pretty cool what you guys use with social media marketing and how you market your music. You guys are. Uh, you guys give me. You give me some hope. 
that musicians are going to get it figured out finally. <laughs> oh, it's crazy, you know, like on my end, being in retail, I'm a manager for uh, Zoomies in my mall. I utilize that so much from all the people I meet day in and day out. And then working at Hot Topic and stuff previous, all the people you meet in their day in and day out. You know, just so much of them are passionate fans of music, and you just wind up bonding off of doing a sale on a snowboard. Next thing you know, you start talking about music, and then bam, you know, you have a new fan. Cause there it is. And that. It's just crazy. You've handed them a what? card, and they're following you on Instagram, and, and, and soon you're selling them Buck Jerry tickets. That's why I never, I never <laughs> leave house without this big ass lot of fucking cards. And see, Ever. that's yeah. the thing. That's the thing. I started wearing a fanny pack years ago, and all it was oh. was a held, held business cards. And I get so much heat from people. Well, they're like, oh, he's worth the fanny pack. No, I've got business cards, idiot. I'm out doing business 90% of the time. Well, we also are fucking uh, billboards because we have our eh, own best. Who cares about a wallet? Wallets are overrated. I seen a deal the other day, uh, last night, the thing called the neck rack. Have you seen this? The you just hang it around your neck. And it it's like a like neck a move. The neck rack, yes. But all boards, we all have our own, own showcase. This Look at that. Show. brand of jewels. See, we need to get Where our we need time? to get our uh, our paranormal guys need to get t-shirts. We're getting them. Oh, you yeah. guys need to get oh, we t-shirts. Got and all things. I'm a huge paranormal fan. So. Hey, by the way, since I have you guys on the phone <coughs> or on the Skype here, um, do you guys uh, do t-shirts and stuff? With, with the, does the band have t-shirts? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Do you, um, I want you guys to shoot me a message when we get off the air of who you go through to get your screen printing and your t-shirts done because I have a, a porn star friend of mine who wants to get t-shirts made and she can't get anybody to take her bunny. She wants what? to she wants to give a screen printer money to make her t-shirts and they're like, no, 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 I don't deal with porn stars. And she's like, my money is good. Uh, yeah, I just need somewhere to go. So what is this for? It's coming to. So if you know somebody who who would who would take money from a porn star to make T-shirts, <laughs> shoot me a message so I can get them in touch I, with her. We're in the tri-state area. We'll be just fine. <laughs> yeah. We'll take care of that. Just fine. <laughs> you guys can take care of that. We might be able to maybe hook hook up a deal. We could like. To a you know what I'm saying, Tony. You there you go. Up. That's right. She won't be swimming with the fishes. She'll be going down no, when there's fishes, no, but she won't no, be swimming no. with the fishes. Now, uh, that built the fish. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have got a few connections that that do that, shoot me over a message on either on a to Facebook or email, and we'll we'll get her connected. But uh, I appreciate it, guys. Got to get to my paranormal people, but. Uh, thanks for being with us. To keep us updated on Thank everything. Thank you for having us, man. I love the energy. Thank you, Thank you, so, man. Thank you so much. It. You guys are amazing. I will talk to you guys soon. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Thank you, guys. I we'll hope we will be seeing you guys here in person. So. Yes. Yes. That's we will We will work on happen. that. And if you, if you guys do come through the area, we'll have you in studio. And maybe we'll have Kevron, who's not to be confused. He's a Chevron here. Uh, <laughs> that always gets a pop. I love that. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful Sunday. Appreciate it. Hello, everyone. Thank, Thank you, guys. You, that is Brand of Jewels, and uh, we are going to transition.